Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Friday, March 24th, 2023. And I have a short video for you today. And this video is about offset woodruff keys. Now the intention here is to make it easier to start and smoother idling. And that's really all this video is about. It's gonna be a quick, short little video, but get ready for my next video because that's gonna be something that I know a lot of you guys wanna be watching. So uh, with that said, I notice that there's a lot of people watching my videos, but I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. And then, you know, click the bell as well because I'm gonna be going live and try to start this car. So that's the whole idea behind this channel. We're taking everything apart and putting it all back together and then we're gonna see what happens in the end. So, you know, until the next video, let's just get this one started. So let's start with this left camshaft. Now I've already tried to knock this out using a punch, right? This is a blunt end hardened pump. And I tried to get up underneath here and bang it and that didn't work. So I tried a, a center punch with a smaller tip on it and that's why it's all there and I still couldn't get it out. So then I thought, you know, let's try with something completely different. And what I did is I got a, just a piece of aluminum. It's just aluminum block. It's slightly beveled, I'll show you here. See how I got that little bit of a bend to it right there? So what I'm gonna do is I can place this in here like this and bang, by bringing this this way, should lift this up. And then by using aluminum, you know, you're not gonna scratch your, you know, you're not gonna hurt anything. So, there. See how that's up like that? Then what you do is take some side cutters. All right, and with these side covers, now I can grab a hold of it here and roll it up. get a hold of it, and eventually get that out of there. And that is how you remove the woodruff key, or at least how I remove the woodruff key from that. So now let's install the new woodruff key. So I'm working on the left camshaft, and as you can see with that cam key at the top there, my top of the Woodruff key needs to be a little bit to the left. So that's what that is. It's kind of hard to see, but I think you can see that that's a little bit towards the left. So I'll put that in there. I turn this a little bit. I clean this all out with brake clean, made sure there's no oil inside the keyway and all that kind of stuff. Make sure the debris was out because these things are soft. And you know, when you bang them out, little bits can get in the bottom of that. So you wanna make sure that that's clean. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of assembly lube on the bottom of the key. It's not like it's much, not on the actual bottom, mostly on the sides right here, right? On the two sides, cause I want that thing to slip in there. And I think the key really is, to see if we can do this, is to try to hold the back of it to get it close to the back, right? and then try to roll it in, and then press it like that. Next, I'm gonna get, this is just a piece of copper pipe. You know, those woodruff keys are kinda soft, so I want something that's softer than the woodruff key, so when I bang on it and try to set that key in, I don't damage the key. So I just took a piece of half-inch copper pipe, flattened it, on one end, and then I'm gonna use that as a tool. I'm gonna to place it on here like that, and try to hit it down, just like that. I'll go the whole width here.
That is pretty darn close, and I'll check that just to see how the two will line up. Looks like it lines up. So that key is now installed. All right, so I've lubricated it. All the journals, including the, the cam itself. And really the best way to just do this is just to be careful. The manual makes it seem like you can't take these in and out uh, this way. And that's because the manual is kind of designed as this being in the car. And of course you can't pull this back, you'll hit the firewall. So that's the reason for that. So once I got to this point, I'm gonna add a little bit more grease. This end one's okay. Not that it's gonna make that much difference, but why not? All right, let's push her all the way in then. The key really is to turn this thing as you put it in, just like that. Ta-da! There it is, and that's how you do that. Now I'm gonna take the other side off. You could probably take these keys off and do it all here if you want. I just chose not to do that. Right? Just want to be nice and careful. These are really well lubed up, so I feel pretty good about it. But you just don't want to be banging your journals, right? All right, I'm going to go clean this thing up and then put it on the bench. All right, so on this side we have two keys. So we'll start with the front key. There we go, that one's up a little bit. And I'll go back here and hit this one. There's that one. A little bit more on this one here. There we go. Peel that up. There she comes. It's one key. And now the other one. This one here's a little bit tougher for some reason. There we go, it's almost there. That's it. All right, that's the second key. All right, I'm just gonna clean up this, make sure there's nothing inside here. As you can see, let me turn this a little bit, you can see Right at the bottom here, there's a little bit of material. So this is just a piece of copper wire. And I wanna get that little piece out of there. Do you see it? Like that. Cause this, it's almost like it's welded in there, right? Cause those keys are soft. So I'm gonna make sure I get all this clean, break clean it, get it all ready. All right, so now I'm working on the right camshaft there. And as you can see, the offset is the same. The difference is, is that this is uh, more of an advanced timing on this side. So again, that's the direction, right? We wanna make sure that that offset is going that way, right? So I got a little bit of assembly grease on the outside there. Push it towards the back. There we go. A little piece of copper. It's 
going in. You don't want to hit that cam, right? Don't want to hit this, that's for sure. So that's why I'm being a little extra careful. There we go. Let's check that. The order of things is like this. It's a little bit tight, but I can see that it will go on, so that's good. So that's key number one. Here's the second key. Again, it's going that way. So when I put it in, it will advance the timing. This one dropped right in. That's nice. We'll make sure she's seated. Hear the difference? Now we can do the same thing just to make sure. There we go. All right, let's see if everything goes on. There we go. All right, so she'll go. And I already know it'll go off to the other one too, so that's it. And if we need to nudge them a little bit when we do the actual install, we can do it then. But otherwise, it's good to go. This thing will go all the way to the back, and then you would put this on it. That's the next thing. And you can see it goes on no problem as well, so. All right, let's put this cam back on. All right, just like the other side. I'm going to dry my hands a little bit. I want to make sure that I get all these nice now again. Just make sure. Nice and easy. There we are. Let's clean that up a bit. All right, so I've got it all cleaned up. It's all installed. It moves freely. I went ahead and checked all that. I just don't want to touch it anymore. Um, they're both on. And that is how I installed these offset uh, Woodruff keys. So, like I said, this is probably the only place you're going to see someone doing that. So, why not subscribe, right? Why not subscribe and see how this thing all turns out? I think on the next video is going to be installing the uh, cam sprockets and the chain and we'll start setting timing and we'll check the compensating elements and make sure that the heights are right. All that kind of stuff. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, watching my video and I'll catch you on the next one.